experts in our area say they're seeing a spike in illnesses this holiday season. 7 News reporter Taylor Farmer sat down with local physician's assistant who says his office is seeing a record number of patients. Doctors offices are packed with patients right now as they say they're seeing an increase in COVID, flu and RSV, especially in children. We come in with 10 or 20 messages and we're setting records every night with patient volume. I think last night we did 64. Um, so yeah, we're seeing quite a bit. Carson Moore is a physician assistant at Carolina Children's Clinic in Boiling Springs. He tells us he's seen an increase in RSV cases right. this year. Sit up nice and tall for me. Big deep breath. As RSV awareness increases, a new vaccine to fight the sickness is now being offered to those over 65 years old and an antibody shot is being offered to younger kids. He tells us children under 18 months old are more at risk for the sickness. It's really designed to, for the youngest kiddos that are most prone for RSV, you give it to them right at the onset of RSV season um, and it provides them a good bit of protection uh, from RSV. They might still get the RSV, but they'll have the antibodies already there to help fight it off versus having to learn how to do it on their own. Healthcare professionals say there are several ways to keep you and your children healthy as these illnesses spread. Tips they shared with us include wearing a mask, limiting the number of people you are around, staying home if you are sick, and washing your hands. Uh, at my school, though, it's about like 10 kids. That have been sick? Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. Are you making sure you're washing your hands so you don't get sick? Yeah. Solis tells me several kids at his school have been sick. Parents say often when their young one isn't feeling good, others in their classroom aren't either. Everybody's together at school, things get passed around at school, that does it. Moore says often when he is seeing sick patients, there is not a prescription he can send their parents home with. He says Tylenol and ibuprofen can help, but the best medicine is rest and plenty of fluids. I think the reason we see a lot of kiddos is that schools are pushing to have these notes, which is completely fine and appropriate and we're happy to see them. But if you've got the ability to keep your kiddo home and just, you know, supportive care for a couple of days, then there's not necessarily a reason to get that diagnosis. In Boiling Springs, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. Now there are medicines that doctors can prescribe to treat flu and COVID as well.